so it seems like the best strategy is to get up close and spam attack. Well, not really spam, you wanna aim for the head if you can, but... You can't kill them in one shot anyway, so you kinda have to spam a little bit at least. But now what's going on back here? Let's see, there's a thing underneath there. Which way am I meant to go first? I'm not... Oppression... The arrow points straight through, okay, I see. Well, since it points straight through, let's see if there's any side areas for us to explore. Whoa, whoa, whoa don't fall down there. Ah, there's water. And there's hacking. <coughs> wow. Okay. And little trap rivets. And more hacking. <coughs> I keep trying to go for the bonuses, but I, I don't do very well. I wonder if I should keep doing that. Okay, so that that's that little thing underneath there. That's the loot. Okay, we got that. What's the next area? Curfew. Giant hands. Social services like <laughs> Social services. Like all this time, like all these signs are like these really bad things, and then he puts social services along with all the bad things. I look, look, social services. It gets abused sometimes. Like some people take the welfare when they don't need it and then cheat the system. But you don't want to leave poor people to starve, you know? If they if they need a bit of help, you don't want to you want to help them. Andrew Ryan, why are you so mean? Why are you so mean? Lacking its own ingenuity, the parasite fears the visionary. But it cannot plagiarize, it seeks to censor. But it cannot regulate, it seeks to ban. Rapture was founded on an idea, and here they are held inviolate. Yeah. Yeah, look how it all turned out for you, Andrew Ryan. Look how it all turned out. Huh, we did an exit. Okay, we're going that way. Uh, do we need any of this stuff? I guess we can drink a bit of this. There's gonna be a fight, I believe. In there. So uh, let's just fill ourselves up on the eve. Now, Tannenbaum would have you turn that sister human again. You'll get just enough Adam for our purposes, and the girls will likely try to repay you somehow. But Rapture's a high-stakes town, son, and she is a jackpot. You just have to be willing to take it all. You'll harvest more Adam than the price of one plasmid, so the rest is gravy. Think about it. Down here, it's your survival or hers. Okay, so he's playing the devil's advocate. Uh, heck. I'm so good at this. Not really. But I did pretty good just there. So again, we can either harvest the little sisters which will kill them, or we can turn them human and save them. Let's see, there's enemies down there. Are there anything... When we come back, we're gonna get attacked. Maybe I should... set up some traps. Maybe. Alright. So let's do that. So I have played this game before, and I do remember it, I guess. Like, when you visit the places again, it comes back to you. Uh, what's going on here? Safe? Ah, I missed the blue thing. I guess I'm not entirely short on cash. Bot shutdowns. There's a lot of bot shutdowns in this game, a lot more than in the first game it seems. But 
but we are still fairly early in the game. Are there enemies in the water or not? I can't really tell. No, there isn't any enemies in the water. Uh, money, and we can hack this as well. Uh, we don't really need that. The game is giving us a lot of loot and a fighter chamber because this is an ambush. Bring a little sister to a vent allows you to choose whether to rescue or harvest her. If you harvest her, you get maximum atom to spend on plasmids. But she would not survive the process. If you rescue her, you get less atom, but the girl will be cured. Hmm. More first aid. Rescue harvest. I'm a good guy. Really, I am. That's really loud. Wait, where should go? Oh, yeah. Well, our tin man had a heart all along. Personally, I call that a liability, but you have enough Adam now. <laughs> Barely. Head to the Hall of the Future and splice up with Incinerate. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Bye. Okay, now we get ambushed. Do we get ambushed? There's water here. I hear an ambush. Yep. There go the trap bolts. And here they come. Let's see if we can get them into the water. Come on. Yeah, that should be one. I'm not sure if there are any more of them. Let's see, are there any more? The trap boat might have taken care of the other one. Nope. Is that what I think it is? No, it's not. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're all dead. No, I can still hear at least one of them. Two of them. Wow, why are there so many of you? This game ambushes everywhere. And I'm not, you know, I'm not mad just because I died. It really is. I, I really don't think it's good game design. It's just ambush. One after another. And look, they just gonna camp out there, right? Yeah, look, they're gonna camp out there. Here she comes. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> and of course, they do ridiculous amounts of damage. There was an Eve Hypo downstairs. Let's pick that up. God, like the wow, are you serious? Repugnant. 
Why wasn't she shot? And the enemies respawn down here. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Ah, uh, rivets. No, I. Uh, no. No. Pick that up. All right, let's let's move on. I don't I don't understand why they need to do this, like the ambushes. Why can't they just have it more like the first game? More enemies just doing their thing and then you you know finding them. Why do they have to set it up so that everywhere you turn is an ambush? You know, did they decide that the design of the first game wasn't good? You know, did people complain about that? I, I can't imagine that would be the case. I thought the whole strength of the first game was all the emergent gameplay, like the enemies have a certain behavior, you have all these tools, plasmids. On the surface, your parents sought a private life, using their great talents to provide for you. They learned to twist the lies of church and government, believing themselves masters of the system. But the parasites said, No! The child has a duty. He will go to war and die for the nation. <laughs> That's terrible. And yeah, I was just saying, you know, the first game, the whole, I thought the whole point of it was, you know, it was like the city was alive, like the people were doing their thing and, you know, there was security and then there was always more than one way to deal with the enemies. Oh, power to the people. But it seems like in this game, like, how much security have you seen? We've seen a few cameras and a few turrets, but they were always you know, place specifically to kill certain enemies, like the last turret we hacked. There were those two guys who were playing with it, and we hacked the turret, and the turret killed those two. And then there's nothing more. Like, there's no other enemies for the turret to kill. Like, everything is, is limited in the possibilities that you can use them for. It seems like. What's all this? More stuff to hack? Oh. I uh, met with Sinclair today of Sinclair Solutions. It's this pseudo-legal firm he set up to take problems Ryan doesn't want it, but he has, and make them go away. And I can fill 40 front pages of the Tribune with stories about this fella. <laughs> if he wasn't paying me not to. And he's got work for me, right? And I ask what? And he flashes me these thousand dollar stymied teeth saying this job will, quote, change history. Stanley Poole working for Sinclair. Sinclair hires him to do something that will change history. I guess we'll find out later on what's going on. What should we do here? Machine gun recoil reduction. I think we should use that. You must... Oh, wait, there's three upgrades. And you can only get the third one after you've gotten the other two. Um, high density electrical field prevents shots from breaking up on first impact, causing them to ricochet. Uh, what is that? River gun heat upgrade. May ignite living creatures on repeated shots. What is that? Drill reflector. Incoming projectiles will be reflected at attackers while the drill is spinning. That sounds kind of awesome, actually. But we go with machine gun. It served us pretty well last time with the Big Daddy. Uh, no loot there. This is still my home. Don't! How you run! Beat up woman because we can. What's this? Beer? I don't want the beer. I want Eve hypos because I seem to be using a lot of them. Fail. Ah, 
Bye bye. Auto hack that. That's awesome. We can auto hack. I've only got two of them. Now, I don't know if I need that. I mean, I never used any of the auto hack tools back in the first game. But in this game, the hacking gets quite a bit more difficult later on. You can see I'm.